Imagine Chelsea spending a staggering £75 million on agents' fees last season. Manchester City £60 million only on agent fees. Why do football clubs pay agents a huge sums of money on player contract? What are the reasons for this huge sum of agent fees? I think you may be wondering, is it legal for clubs to be paying a huge sum of money for agent fees? Well, that's a great question. Unfortunately, the answer isn't as regal as you would think. Agents are like lawyers. They bill as many people as possible. Agents generally bill both the club and the player. Most players don't have as much as a high school diploma. They are fertile ground for exploitation. Many of them don't understand the complex nature of contract negotiation. They tend to give their agents very basic instructions. Give me the best deal possible or make sure his club so and so because he want to live in such and such city and enjoy the nightlife. Agents therefore have a free reign to negotiate for both themselves and the player. If a prominent player is in the market, many clubs would be interested to talk to the agent. So the agent would sift through the noise by putting demands such as consultancy fees and such. Such fee can hit several millions of dollars. It's purported that Manchester United paid Paul Pogba's agent, Mino Riola, the super agent, a fee of $26 million just for the transfer to go through. If the player isn't as prominent, then it's the agent paying for the right to be listened to. The Portuguese super agent, the richest football agent, the one with enormous contracts and several talented players. With the influence of Jorge Mendes now so apparent at the very top level of world football in player contract negotiation, Cristiano Ronaldo, James Rodriguez, and Jose Mourinho are among his client. The agent, player and club relationship although apparently appears to be like a certain kind of consultancy arrangement, but in truth, it is more akin to legal settlement that is driven and eventually determined by the agents of players. Sometime players pay their agents for getting them a sound contract, particularly when he's not a renowned player, and his agent is the one going around selling him to different clubs. But in other circumstances, if player in question is a huge name, a prominent player, then for cutting a sound deal and for getting few minutes of certain agent a particular player, it is the club that pay the agents, and that's where football clubs pay agents significant sums of money for various reasons. Primarily because agents play a crucial role in negotiating contracts and transfers on behalf of the players. Here are the reasons why football clubs pay agents. Number 1. Expertise and Negotiation Skills Agents are often experienced professionals who understand the intricacies of contract negotiations and the transfer market. They can help secure the best possible deal for the player, which in turn benefits the club by ensuring they have a happy and motivated player. The second reason is time and resources. Negotiating contracts and transfers can be time-consuming and complex. Clubs may not have the resources or expertise to handle these negotiations effectively. Agents take on this responsibility, allowing club officials to focus on other aspects of running the team. The other reason is player representation. While agents technically work for the players, clubs often benefit from having a good relationship with the player's agent. This can help clubs navigate negotiations more smoothly and build positive relationships with players and their representatives. Another crucial reason is access to networks. Agents often have extensive networks in the football world, which can be beneficial for clubs looking to sign or sell players. Agents can help connect clubs with potential transfer targets or facilitate deals with other clubs. The other reason is also the competition and market forces. Again, in the competitive world of professional football, clubs may be willing to pay agents significant sums to ensure they secure the services of top players. Agents may have multiple clubs vying for their clients, giving them leverage in negotiations. Regarding your question about whether players should pay their agents, it's worth noting that some players do pay their agents directly for their services. The reason agents get paid is similar to what high-end businessmen or personalities do. You pay them just to get through the door. You haven't even discussed any business, but you pay them for the right to be listened to. The specifics of the relationship between a player and their agent can vary and are typically outlined in a legally binding representation agreement. In many cases, however, clubs end up paying agents as part of the overall negotiation process. Ultimately, the payment of agents by clubs is a standard practice in the football industry and it is often seen as a cost of doing business in a highly competitive and lucrative market. If you want to know how a football player market value is decided, check this video out.
If you enjoy this video, smash the like button.